love, the fourth Sunday of Advent. We need love and affirmation in the midst of social distancing. The elderly already facing challenges of isolation are now further separated from families, friends, and routine duty. Inactivity, joblessness, high food prices affects our ability to feel loved, appreciated, and have a sense of worth. We light this candle because God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. God's love is ever present and powerful. Be not afraid, love abounds. Tell everyone 
Blessings of Christmas. Let's just prepare our hearts for prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The first Lord. Yes, yes. The angels did say, was to set and portion. Thank you, Lord. to figure it out. We ask, Lord, that you would go into the highways and the byways and that you would be there in the hospital rooms where they need you the most. We all need you, Lord. We ask that you would 
turn our minds away from things that are not of you, that you would deliver us from those things that keep us from focusing our energies on you. Lord, we thank you for this season of giving and of loving and of seeing deeper into things. And we ask that you would continue to bless where you are blessing. And we know that's everywhere, Lord, everywhere. That you would continue to keep where you are keeping. And we know that's everywhere. Lord, now as we go forward in this worship service, this Sunday morning worship service, we ask your blessing upon everything that is done, every song that is sung, every word that is uttered. For we do it to lift you up, to give you glory. We love you, Lord. We pray a special blessing upon our preacher. We ask you to bring a word that might touch us in a new way, that we might feel your presence this day all anew. And then, Lord, I pray a special blessing upon our youth and upon our elderly, upon everyone. We need you, Lord. We need you like we've never needed you before. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for the blessings that you continue to, to shower on DuPage AME Church. We pray your blessing upon every church opened in your name this day. In Jesus' name we pray, and for his sake, amen, amen, and amen. today and the scriptures say that suddenly there was an angelic choir singing uh, it's throwback Sunday we've got an angelic choir singing sanctuary choir come on text somebody call somebody because there'll be an angel singing in the choir this morning praise the Lord
We want to remind everyone that today at 10 o'clock, the Sunday School will present Come Worship the Newborn King, their Christmas program, and we want you to join them. We invite you to join them. The information will appear on the screen and is also on the church e-blast, and we hope that you will tune in and be blessed by what the Sunday School has prepared. Amen. Amen. We're preparing also for our Christmas Eve service, the Celebration of Lights, this coming Thursday at 6 o'clock. And more information will be coming about that. Uh, the pastoral prayer call continues. We're, we're blessed. We're blessed, church, to have a pastor who would be there every morning, every weekday morning for us. We want you to pray blessing upon him as well. We'll have our Bible study on Wednesday as we continue through the spiritual discipline of celebration. Reverend Morgan will be with us on Wednesday, and so we look forward to that at 7, 7 15. And so we ask that you would continue in worship every time you can and uh, intercessory prayer on Tuesday evenings at 7 30. We just have a lot of things going on. We're glad to have our visitors this morning. Even on Christmas, as we move forward to the Christmas time, we want to sing our song of welcome to you. Choir, won't you help us? and this is the time we honor the givers long live the givers who went over the top with angel tree over 200 children the west side of chicago praise god are going to have christmas went over the top praise the lord uh, with scarves and caps and gloves praise god this afternoon the missionaries will be sorting out uh, blaze god went over the top a hallelujah this year and we want to thank you and we want to thank you because we give not because the church needs every church has needs every member recognizes the value of supporting their church's needs but we don't give because the church has needs we don't give because others have need we give because we're blessed people and as blessed people of God we have a need to show God how thankful we are. And you're doing it, DuPage. God bless you. Lord, we pray and we thank you this Christmas for an opportunity to exercise faith in a way that we have never done before. Thank you for building us up so that we're ready for this moment. We can stand in this day and say, yes, Lord, his truth is marching on. Bless every one of the faithful, God. And we thank you for this wonderful, wonderful privilege of serving in your kingdom. This is our prayer and we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give him glory, 
for he is the king, give him glory. For he is king of kings, give him glory. For he is the king, give him glory. For he is the king of kings. and thank you for your faithfulness. Uh, come on back, angels. You haven't gone back to heaven yet. Bless us one more time. Thank you, Sanctuary Choir.
Praise the Lord today. I can't think of a better blessing. Thank you for blessing my soul. I want to thank, praise God, this media ministry that's just improving every week. All the temple servants, uh, praise the Lord. This, this Christmas Eve, this week, this is Christmas week on Christmas Eve at 6 o'clock, we'll have our celebration of lights. Uh, praise God, that's online. Uh, thank you. They've got something special that we're doing. Again, you'll see, uh, uh, praise God, you saw last evening uh, the, the Christmas time with Kendall. So praise God, you're seeing what this team is doing, and I'm just thankful because it's touching my soul. Touch my soul. Uh, hallelujah. They asked a question. They said, uh, should we put this up because Mary's singing? Uh, hallelujah. I said, yes, especially put it up especially put it up a uh, hallelujah it's a church choir and we'll be in the number one more time hallelujah i'm happy now i'm happy enough to preach lord we thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you showers of thank you praises of thank you now lord in this holy season uh, that we're in in this wilderness journey uh, that we're on, we thank you that you're staying right with us every step of the way with miracles and mercy. Now, Lord, touch this word and touch our hearts through it. Your will be done. In Jesus' name we pray and let every heart say amen. Praise the Lord. We're in the Gospel book of Matthew. At the first chapter, I'll read for your hearing verses 18 through 21. Hear then the words that come from God. Uh, hallelujah. Matthew 1 and 21. Praise the Lord. I'll read 18 through 21. Now the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, uh, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her and embarrass her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him, and in a dream it said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid. Take Mary as your wife. For the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. And you'll help me get started if you'll look at somebody, if you're close enough wherever you are to touch them, you're sheltering in, you might, you, you, you're allowed to do it. Touch them and look them in the eye and tell them, I'm praying in Jesus' name. I was in my office this week on my knees in prayer. I was deep in prayer. I was mentally going over the spiritual discipline. And I was thanking God for the faith walk that we've all shared together this year. And I was praying for continued growth and appropriation and assimilation of the values and the character of the disciplines in my life and in all of our lives. I was in prayer. I was thanking God for our daily prayer calls. I was thanking God for our Wednesday Bible studies. I was thanking God 
that even though we're not connecting personally and physically like we once were with each other, that has not been an impediment for God to work on our behalf. It has uh, not been an inhibitor, uh, hallelujah, for God to, to touch us and to hold us uh, in his hand. It has not been an uh, inhibitor, it has not been a prohibition uh, for God's Holy Spirit to get a hold of us and shake us up. Somebody uh, watching, you've been in prayer, you were in your secret chamber, you were in your prayer closet, you were in your quiet place, and even though you can't get to the church, God has still touched you and you've been shook up. Uh, I was in deep prayer and giving God thanks and praise. And at the end of my prayer, like I usually do, I came to my closing of in Jesus name. Say amen, somebody. And that's usually when I get up. But this time, for some reason, I stayed on my knees. I connected with my own personal sure deliverances and protections through many dangers, toils, and snares over these years, over this lifetime. That's a long list of deliverances and a power surge. Help me, somebody. Wash through me saying, this is a real thing. God is really able. The reality of God's delivering power, a power that can change things and rearrange things. I don't know what it was, but for a split second, hallelujah, a fraction of a millisecond of a moment, something got a hold of me and surged and raced through me and let me go just that fast. This was right when I was getting up and it held me still for a moment. All I can say is confidence resonated through my heart. Confidence resonated uh, through my mind. Confidence resonated and reverberated through my soul and through my being. And when it had passed, I lowered myself gingerly down on my knees and with new boldness, a personal relationship, a history of God's redeeming power. Hallelujah. God uh, may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. And I felt strong and I felt sure and I said it again, but this time I said it differently. I said, I'm praying in Jesus' name. That's a name you can have expectations of, a name that has power. It affects change. It builds faith. It converts sinners. It makes disciples. It performs miracles. It creates testimony. Hear me, somebody. It showers blessings. It endures with patience. I'm talking about Jesus' name because that's the name I know. That's the name I was taught about by those who went before me. That's the only name they said that I know, that I know, that I know, that I know will work. And somebody listening knows that it'll work too because somewhere in your life, you said you were a goner, but you prayed just like I did. And now you can testify with the lame person at John 5 and 11 who was lowered through the roof and healed by Jesus. Somebody heard him say, take up your bed and walk. And you know it's true because you were stuck and laying in some mud hole yourself, a mud hole in your family, a mud hole on your job, a mud hole in your relationship, a mud hole in your friends, a mud hole with your colleagues and your associates, a mud hole uh, with your business partners. Your vaunted strength couldn't deliver you. Your celebrated good looks couldn't deliver you. Your business partners couldn't deliver you. Your wit and wisdom that had won you so many awards, it couldn't deliver you the charisma that made you highly desired. All your gifts and graces will shower, but they didn't have the power to lift you out of the mud hole and you got on your knees and you cried out to the Lord and he said, arise, uh, take up your bed and walk and you know that it's a miracle. You know he's a miracle worker because you were able to do in his name what you were unable to do without his same in somebody. No wonder the witness is saying so many people doubt him, but I can't live without him. I'm praying in Jesus' name. Acts 9.29 says that his name will be disputed. Folks will argue about him, dismiss him, or try and prove that he's unreal. There will be people 
uh, that will always cast doubt upon the Savior. Acts 26 and 9 says sometimes even the saints of God will act contrary to his name. Yes, even the saved at times will fail him. But the Bible instructs us to remain in prayer. Get down and stay down on your knees because it won't be long before you've got plenty of company. The rebellious will be chastised and the disobedient will be judged and the proud will be humbled and every demon and devil from hell who spends their precious life bringing misery upon the defenseless shall be brought low because the Bible says that simply two and ten at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. Uh, hallelujah that Jesus Christ his name is power and hallelujah I'm glad to report to you that his name is also love hallelujah in this final week of Advent Reverend Lana his name is not only power a power to take us from where 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 he found us hallelujah uh, but it's also love. Uh, John 3.16 says that's what Christmas time is all about. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever lives and believes in him shall not perish but shall have eternal life. I'm glad I'm one of the wretched saved who know God's mercy and know his delivering power. And when my life is on the line, I'm not praying in some generic name. Somebody tells me they think might, could, maybe do something, but I, I'm praying in a sure name. I'm praying in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. A seminary and saints, it's time to close. It's time to close. Many years ago, Reverend Lanner, you remember, soon after our arrival here at DuPage, Ernie Gibson, one of the founders of our church, facilitated an invitation for me to be the first African-American clergy person to give the benediction for the commencement ceremonies at the College of DuPage. I was so excited. He picked me up. He took me there, giving me the inside of how these folks are. You know, I'm from the south side. And he tried to tell me how the folks are. And hallelujah, uh, one of my great high marks for myself, the challenge I had put on myself when I first came, and I'm still glad God has got me covered, not to embarrass my congregation, not to get out there somewhere. All right, let me move on. Somebody wants me to move on. <laughs> When we arrived in the place, they took me, you know, where they take you when you're in somewhere, away from where, you know, and there's the back, they had all this silver and, and, and chrome coffee and, 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 and finger sandwiches and, 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 and all kind of stuff, cheese and everything. And, and I'm from the south side. I said, where the guards at? Where the guards at? You got this food laying out here? And no guards, hallelujah. I'm from the south side. <laughs> One of the hosts came up to me and said, are you Reverend Miller? I said, yes. He said, you're giving the benediction? I said, yes. Uh, they said, um, Reverend, we have a diverse crowd, and so we don't want to offend anybody. Well, There's a lot of different faiths here. You remember I came home, and uh, he said, so we're going to ask you when you get through with your benediction, don't say in Jesus' name. And before I could say what, the Lord said, leave it alone. <laughs> Come on, O.C. Davenport, let me hear you say, leave it alone. <laughs> uh, amen. Shout out to him. Shout out to my girl, hallelujah, from Jackson State. Leave it alone. After the lengthy program, when it was ended and the time for the benediction came, I stood at the podium and prayed. And as I neared my end, I thought for a quick moment, just say amen. But then that same power surge that I was speaking of earlier that I'm very well familiar with came through me and suddenly uh, uh, something happened with my mouth and, and I listened to myself saying, Lord, I don't want to offend anybody. 
but I'm a Christian pastor and I've got to pray in the power of my own personal faith. If I was Hindu, I'd pray in Shiva's name. If I was Muslim, I'd pray in Allah's name. If I was sick, I would pray in Haraguri's name. If I was Tao, I'd pray in Yun Shun Sun's name. If I was Jewish, I would pray in the name of Yahweh, the God of Abraham. If I was Baha'i, I would pray in the imperishable uh, name. If I was Shinto, I would pray in the name of Amaterasura. Uh, if I was Jainism, I would pray in the name of the omniscient, the perfectly pure and perfectly fair. If I was Zoroastrian, I would pray in the name of Ahuru Mazda. And if I was a follower of Confucius or Buddha, there would be no name at all. If I was any of these names, if any one of these other clergy was up here, they would not be reluctant. They wouldn't worry about political correctness. They wouldn't worry about social acceptability. But they would pray in the current but I'm just a Christian preacher from the holiness method that's come off the south side of Chicago. And I will pray in the name of the one who found me where he found me and has brought me to stand here today in the name of Jesus. And when it was over, they all rushed up to me and hugged me and said, we proud you done it. Every prayer pastor, Pajura, Kanusha, Iman, and Ayatollah came up to me and hugged me and said, and we were on our way home. I hope Mary Lou is looking. I hope you're looking, Mary Lou. I think of you and pray of you for you all the time. And he looked at me and he said, you did it right, young man. You did it right. To God be the glory for the things he has done. I don't know about you, but I come to tell you, you can pray when you need something in any name you desire. But I'm going to pray. I'm praying in Jesus' name. Come on, praise the Lord. That's good enough. You'll, you'll crack name him Jesus, for he shall save. And he's saved here today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, he's real. Yes, Don't you know? Real. Don't you know? Jesus, Jesus is real, real to me. I'm saved. And oh, yes. Hallelujah, he gives me the victory. Well, well. today praise God in his sanctuary praise God in your hearts hallelujah thank God for a touch uh, hallelujah that centurion knew about the touch he said Jesus you don't have to come personally you don't have to be present physically but if you just say the word hallelujah he sent a word this morning thank you Lord uh, we pray now that the visitors the guests uh, we've turned the corner on this, this plague that God has judged the world with. Judged them and found them wanting. The scales have been tipped in the wrong direction. It's revealed uh, the need for God in this world where the scripture is absent and experts uh, have no answers. Connect yourself. We're coming out now to be a matter of months. I went through the 251st day of prayer, but it won't be 250 more days. We're coming out. Well. And it's time to revive your connection. Uh, just send a comment in. You've got to take an effort of faith. We call it the stepping out on faith. Push the keys. Pray for me. I'm interested. We scour the comments looking for that one sheet that God is 
God has given the courage to send the word. And you know what? It'll be joy. It'll be joy when we connect. In the evening, he's real. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. You ought to try your faith. You ought to try it right now. I just want prayer, Reverend Miller. I'm not used to joy. Whatever it is, whatever it is. So many people Looking forward to Christmas Eve and the celebration of lights. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. told Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary. Marry her. For the child she's carrying is from the Holy Spirit. And you know what, Joseph, when he's born, you shall name him Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. I'm praying. Somebody say, I'm praying. I'm praying. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And now unto him who's able to keep us from falling, present us faultless before his throne with exceeding grace and mercy, the all-wise God. Be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, now, henceforth, and forevermore. And let us all sing together. Hallelujah. Come on now.